In a new video released by Project Veritas, an assistant principal in Connecticut is seen bragging about woke indoctrination of kids. And he says in part this. Ready? You're teaching them how to think. That's it. It doesn't matter what they think about. If they think about it in a logical, progressive way, that becomes their habit. It's subtly. They'll never say, oh, this is a liberal or democratic way of doing this. Indoctrination, indeed. Connecticut Republican State Senator Ryan Fazio joins me now. You know, where do we begin with this, Senator? What's your reaction to this assistant principal? And should any action be taken, or is this just pretty much the norm in schools today? Well, certainly actions need to be taken by the local government, by the state government as well. There needs to be leadership. Now, he was placed on administrative leave, and there was going to be an investigation. There needs to be a fully independent investigation uh, of what happened in the schools with this assistant principal and perhaps beyond. But the state government also played a role, just like every state government plays a role in public education, to ensure that there's transparency and accountability and that there can be trust. And this is a very sad moment in our town. I'm a product of these public schools. We love our public schools. We love our teachers. And what this assistant principal, what this administrator was doing, this bias, this prejudice and indoctrination was an offense to all of our families, our parents, our kids and our teachers. I'm assuming that it doesn't surprise you. Is, this is not an outlier. Are you concerned that this is perhaps a very similar story across the state of Connecticut? I am concerned. And in the past couple of years, there's been incidents in this school district uh, and in others around the state of political bias in the classroom, of inappropriate sexual material in the classroom. And that's something that nobody wants. I think there's a very small minority of people that think that's acceptable. So I've heard from Democratic parents, from Republican parents, and from independents that this isn't an acceptable paradigm. Uh, we have to get to the bottom of what's going on. But that's why ideas like the legislation I submitted with colleagues for full curriculum transparency in Connecticut, the idea that everyone, especially parents, should have the right and the ability to easily access course material and curriculum posted online is probably an acceptable alternative, is the right way forward to bring people together to ensure transparency and to weed out the bad actors, because sunlight's always the best disinfectant. And quickly, Senator, has there been any backlash to this? Have any parents come forward and expressed their anger? Oh, I've gotten hundreds of messages just in two days. Again, from parents on all sides of the political spectrum. They understand that the schools, that the public education system should answer to parents, contrary to what this assistant principal explicitly said, and that the government should always answer to the people. This was an offense against our democratic system here in Connecticut because nobody voted for this. We want great schools, we love our schools. They should be teaching a rigorous core curriculum and supporting kids, not getting between parents and their kids. Exactly right. All right, well, Senator, thank you so much for uh, chatting with us this morning. It's an important uh, issue for sure. Thank you. Thanks hey, for having uh, me.